the 9 millimeter versus the 45 ACP has been a long heated debate that started back before the invention of the 1911 from Colt. The Army had enjoyed the power of the 45 long Colt for the peacemaker because if you hit the bad guy, he is going down. There's no have to hit him two or three times before they're done. In the Spanish American War, the Army developed 38 caliber revolver. Uh, it was a smaller caliber, and it the revolver itself was a it was, it was double action, so it allowed you to fire without having to cock the hammer first. And it also instituted the new swing out cylinder, which allowed for rapid reloading. It was close to being a machine gun for the standard infantryman who was used to the slow firing and slow reloading peacemaker. However, the new revolver didn't have enough stopping power to do the job, so a lot of American died a lot of Americans died when they shouldn't have. Because of this, the Army started dusting off the old peacemakers and reissuing them. They got the job done. They Peacemaker made a big comeback debut with Teddy Roosevelt and the Rough Riders on San Juan Hill. Uh, that that was pretty much the end of the Peacemaker because the next big war, before the next big war, John Moses Browning invented the 1911 to fill the military's order for a 45 that was semi-automatic and could keep up with the new German Luger that shot a 9mm. The army was partial to the big caliber because they saw in the Spanish-American War that the bigger caliber equals more dead bad guys. Um, they didn't trust the smaller caliber to do the job. Uh, the debate for the military kind of died down with the Geneva Convention because it required all armies that signed it to use a 9mm as their standard pistol cartridge. Uh, personally, I decide with the 45 because I believe as long as you are accurate enough that you should only have to hit them one time. You shouldn't have to hit them two, maybe three times. But not everyone agrees with me. So, the, but the, the German company that invented the Luger sent over two 45 caliber Lugers, the only two that ever existed. That was their attempt to fill in the, uh, the order that the Army put out. The Army completely wore one out of them, one of them out shooting it. But they ultimately sided with the 1911 because they could manufacture it on their own soil and they didn't have to have it shipped over here from Germany, which was a good thing because we just got into a war about five years later with Germany and having your pistols being made by the enemy is not a good thing, but it's a whole new story. Uh, the Luger 9mm started out with nine rounds, whereas the 1911 only had seven. And the reason the Luger had nine and the 1911 only had seven is because the 1911 shoots this 45 here that is rather large. And back then they didn't have the double stack technology for the magazines, so they had to be stacked right on top of each other. And the 9mm, as you can see, is quite a bit smaller and allowed for two extra rounds to be placed in the magazine at one time. Uh, if you're a German and you're in Russia and you're shooting the big burly Russians in the middle of winter wearing their big thick coats, the 9mm probably wouldn't do the job with just one round. Well, that's where you would want the 45 because it would go through the coat and still stop the, the Russian in his tracks. With recent advances in the polymer plastics, Companies such as Glock, who make the 9mm and made it famous, or well, made it more famous, have made where the frames are getting smaller and smaller and smaller, and you have the subcompact pistols that are very concealable. You can tuck them in your sock and no one would notice unless you go through like a metal detector or something. 
Also, the little ones, the little Glocks, they can still carry more rounds than the big full size 1911 with a standard eight round magazine. Uh, the Glock 17 holds 17 rounds. That's more than double the maximum standard magazine for the 1911. It, the biggest issue with the debate really comes down to how much ammo do you have per magazine compared to the stopping power and the recoil. The, the 9mm has little recoil has almost double the ammo but doesn't have nearly as much stopping power as the slow moving 45. It, you can do a double tap with the 9mm but that uses up a lot of ammo if you do it every time assuming you're fighting multiple people whereas you only need one for the 45. Um, it, the, yeah, the the 45 can't reliably double tap because of the recoil. It's not that it kicks too hard for you to control twice. Bam, bam. You know, it doesn't kick that hard, but it kicks enough to where it's way slower than the 9mm. And it's a lot harder to be accurate when, when firing it rapidly like that. So you have to decide for yourself whether you want more ammo and less power or less ammo and enough power that you don't need more ammo.